Okay, for introduction, ensuring safety and well-being, whether in the workplace, learning environment or public area is paramount. Organisation must prioritise risk management and accident prevention to safeguard individual and property. By implementing robust risk management system and adhering to established regulation, organisation can proactively detect, then uh, can also mitigate a uh, uh, potential risk uh, thereby protecting people. In educational institution, uh, just as school, efficient risk management technique allocate with the uh, OSHA guidelines are uh, essential to maintain a safe environment. Good morning everybody. Today I will share insight from interview with Puan Mariati Binti Saude at Jura Selangor Saint High School. Despite effort the school face in her risk, Sekolah Menengah Sains Jura Selangor use priority risk management. This include routine risk assessment and tolerate risk mitigation plans. Accident in investigation procedure are systematic and true. Corrective action is taken to prevent risk recurrence. The school's commitment to safety ensure a safe learning environment. In summary, Selangor Jura Sain High School prioritizes safety through proactive measure and through accident investigation uh, protocol. This commitment foster a safe. Next, I will discuss the accident prevention program and initiative implemented at Sekolah Menengah Sains Jura Selangor. Based on re recent interview, first of all, the accident prevention program. The school has implemented several proactive measures to ensure the safety and well-being of students. First, regular fire drills are conducted to familiarize students with emergency evacuation protocols. The exercise which is held twice a year covers both uh, academy and dormitory blocks, emphasizing the importance of an order, ordinary evacuation in the event of a fire. Next, the COVID-19 response. During the COVID-19 pandemic, school faced challenges with students stuck in dorm dormitories uh, due to the sudden closures. To prevent the spread of the virus, the isolation measures have been enforced for the affected students, ensuring the safety while providing the necessary support and care. In addition, preventive measure and safety measure, the school emphasizes emphasize prevention measures to regular reminders of school and dormitory rules during official and dormitory gathering. Inside it, a uh, supervisor play an important role in addressing student concerns and advocating for their interests, breaking the gap between student and school administration. Additional security measures are in the place to protect student property, including device regulation and usage restriction. The successful accident prevention measure, including the school proactive response to bullying incident, resulted in a significant reduction in those accidents. Additional swift action was taken to replace bomb bed with single bed in the head area following student injuries. Demonstrating, demonstrating the school's commitment to student safety. Challenges therefore include ensuring full compliance with security uh, measures and adapting to unexpected crises such as the COVID 19 pandemic. Recommendations include for, fostering a culture of safety awareness, increased communication, and temperance. Integrity safety and considerability into the decision making process and regularly reviewing and updating accident prevention plans. In conclusion, Sekolah Menengah Sains Selangor uh, show a protective approach in accident prevention, prioritizing the safety and well-being of its students through comprehensive program and innovative. So that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, based following the guidelines set for by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which is focuses is uh, the accident investigation on risk management and accident prevention. Okay, student health and safety are given priority as seen by the quick action taken in a response to report illness or accident involving student. 
uh, it for ensuring the affected person receiving appropriate care and timely uh, medical assistance. Okay, the school also established a committee team of educators, school nurses, administrator, and a safety expert as a part of their accident investigation procedure and they also uh, entrusted with a carefully looking into the accident uh, assumption uh, in order to piece together the, uh, the sequences of events that lead up to the accident this team worked uh, together to collect all the available evidence including medical report, uh, witness uh, testimony uh, and uh, evidence they closely examine the student health surrounding treat and also appropriate uh, uh, equipment like uh, the double decker bag in the sick uh, room to order possible uh, risk uh, complex with uh, OSHA regulation. Okay, next, the school uh, administration take a comprehensive approach. Uh, test is lined uh, with the uh, OSHA standard in order to identify the underlying uh, causes of accident and avoid their uh, recurrence. Uh, the school uh, launched an uh, inquiry in reaction to the event which is a student uh, sustained serious uh, injuries uh, as a result of a ceiling fan striking after the irresponsible behavior. Okay, this investigation explore uh, many fact, uh, many factors of the event taking into the account implement including the student health potential danger in the area and also event that uh, processed the tragedy okay the student he's uh, exhaust, uh, exhausted and also dizzy were important contribute uh, element that results in the disaster. Uh, investigation found this research emphasis how critical it to treat underlying health condition uh, and give students who require uh, assistance to help uh, when they need. The administration of school also uh, take a proactive measure to stop just as a mishap of happening in future. Okay, the administration also choose to establish a single bed in each sick room to prevent uh, this from uh, happening. Okay, this choice of uh, demonstration of dedication of uh, to risk uh, deduction, uh, reduction and a student safety in the classroom. According to the OSHA recommendation, the school administration show a proactive attitude to accident prevention by addressing both immediate causes and underlying factors contribute to the uh, accident. Okay, furthermore, the administration of the school take a holistic approach to cover several uh, facets of risk management and accident prevention in order to improve safety procedure. Okay, first and foremost, it is critical to put student help first by putting place a strong procedure to keeping uh, an eye on a quickly handling report of student illness. This could entail, uh, entail creating clear protocol for offering uh, prompt help and medical attention when necessary, as well uh, as teaching employees how to spot the system of heat uh, exhaustion and other health problem. Okay, the administration also perform a complete evaluation of uh, fortunate uh, placement and room layout in light of the uh, decision to only place one bedroom in each rest area. This will help to minimize danger and guarantee uh, sufficient space for moving and safety. This could entail doing risk uh, assessment or speaking with a safety specialist in order to identify potential hazard and create suitable uh, control uh, measure. Okay, next for the recommendation, uh, throughout accident investigation, uh, essential for ensuring the health and safety of school uh, personnel and student and school also can enhance their investigation uh, processes by implementing several key recommendations okay uh, the first is uh, establishing a uh, establishing a transparent uh, reporting and also investigation system with defined timeless and procedure along the specific uh, uh, specifying 
uh, role and responsibility for staff involving the inquiries and ensure the consistent and uh, complementedness in investigation. Next, also, uh, school can provide training for investigate, uh, investigator on fundamental skill and relevant regulation foster compliance uh, and of the quality of uh, investigation. Uh, furthermore, encouraging openness and honest among staff member and promoting collaboration and advising the value of accident prevention uh, uh, contribute to a safety, uh, uh, safety culture. Risk management practice involve identifying, assessing and mitigating potential risks or threats to an organization or project uh, in order to minimize negative impacts and maximize opportunities for success. We have go to SMS Langot to interview Puan Mariati for answering a few answer, a few questions about this part. Puan Mariati emphasized the pivotal role of security guards in ensuring school safety as they are accountable for monitoring premise and addressing inquiries regarding unauthorized access. While security guards play a crucial part in maintaining physical security, a comprehensive approach to risk management involves collaboration among various stakeholders. Additionally, the school implements measures such as locking dorm gates and maintaining lock fence to enhance security, which, which schedule gate closure at 11 p.m. to prioritize student safety. According to Puan Mariatis interview, it's crucial for security guards to keep the front gate bars closed at all times to control access and maintain safety within the school premise. Visitors must register at the guard house to receive a visitor pass even after business hours as a security precaution against potential threats. Implementing a visitor pass system allows the school to track school visitors, distinguish between approved guests and trespass, trespassers, and ensure accountability for everyone on site. This process also facilitates emergency response and enhances overall security protocols. Additionally, dormitory gates are closed promptly at 11 pm and wardens monitor students' whereabouts for their safety. According to Puan Mariati, effective communication is key to maintaining school security. The administration and security guards utilize WhatsApp and Telegram groups to share urgent information and ensure everyone is informed of emergency or important matters. Regular monthly meetings between administration and security guards help ensure yearly responsibilities are fulfilled. This communication facilitates quick response to security threats and allows for the exchange of insights to improve safety protocols. Open lines communication empowers security guards to provide value observation and suggestion, contributing proactive security management on school grounds. The interview at SMS Selangor revealed several challenges faced by the school administration in maintaining effective security measures. This include the need for comprehensive risk assessment, one physical security, balancing security with maintaining an inclusive environment, ensuring constant vigilance amidst dynamic setting and overcoming resources constraints, striking a balance between security and inclusivity while addressing these challenges requires continuous communication, training and innovative solutions tailored to each school's specific needs. Based on the interview at SMS Lango, there are several suggestions to improve risk management and safety measures at the school. This include, this include developing a comprehensive risk assessment framework involving collaboration among stakeholders, ensuring consistent adherence to security measures, updating security process regularly, improving communication with security personnel through regular meetings or training sessions, and investing in technological solutions like access control and surveillance camera. Implementing this suggestion can enhance overall security protocols and create a safer learning environment for everyone involved. In conclusion, the organization proactive approach
approach to risk management and accident prevention underscore its commitment to ensuring the safety and well-being of students by conducting true risk assessment, implementing preventive measure and fostering open communication with stakeholders. The organization creates a secure learning environment. Furthermore, its dedication to ongoing improvement through accident investigation protocol ensure continuous enhancement of safety procedure. Ultimately, prioritizing safety allows students to focus on their academic pursuits with peace of mind, knowing their well-being is paramount.